Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Pattern Shift on Dr. T TV. I'm Dr. T, and this is the place where we shift reactions into intentions so we can all live our most elevated life. Now, the Pattern Shift today is major, 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 huge, super important. This is a big one for everyone. Now, this is shifting the pattern of pain into the pattern of purpose. And very, very key here because the pattern of pain is an emotional pattern that is in our atmosphere. It's in humanity, it's in society. And this is a big pattern. Pain as a pattern is huge and it is the ultimate suffering. And it's kind of interesting because You'd think, you know, it'd be one thing if it was like pain, you know, you scrape your knee and it's like, ouch, I got a boo-boo. I put a bandaid on it. The body's healing it. We're moving on, you know, playing in the sandbox next, you know, <laughs> just move it on with life. However, emotional pain is perhaps the biggest pattern in humanity um, that really takes people out. That really is a stinger, a zinger. It's, you know, it's everything. It's heartbreak, it's struggle, it's stress. It's quite honestly believing all kinds of horrible negative things. And it also comes from a society that is still very um, immature in making something that I feel is very important in making emotional training the utmost priority. So given that most people get developed in life and they have very little emotional training and it's sort of like, hey, you know, you can make people, uh, so you can create people, but you don't necessarily have the training on how to literally create people who are the most creative, productive people. Uh, that's kind of left up to the figure it out program. And so pain is one of these experiences that is so conditioned into our society, into individuals, into partnerships and collaborations and companies. Pain is this icky, awful, viral, emotional feeling that is so awful and torturous. And when we just understand through the emotional training process that I, you know, spend my life doing that pain is a pattern just like gain is a pattern. Pain is a pattern just like happy is a pattern. Pain is a pattern like frustration is a pattern and pain is a pattern like jubilation or celebration is a pattern. It is an emotional pattern. And we've been given this story that it's like a requirement for life and it's just part of life. And it has a horrible narrative with it. Pain is just a part of life, you know, Think about that in your psyche and what that does. Like, oh, if you're here, if you're alive, you're just going to be on the pain program. And guess what? You know, you'll just suffer through it and have some moments of happiness along the way. This is a terrible, terrible conscious programming that pain is our reality, that pain is the human condition. It's only emotional conditioning that, that pain is this necessary thing that everybody must suffer through and endure. Pain also has a lot of PR, like, you know, like if you do pain and you, then you care more and, you know, there's all this martyr status with pain and um, being able to have a high pain tolerance. And, and there's just a lot that goes with this pattern of pain that I really want to clean up here because it's pretty bad. It's pretty brutal. Uh, and we really want to upgrade it because, you know, people are like, I turned the, I turned the TV on this morning in my area here in California, nearby in San Jose, there was a, a shooting and it's like this pain thing, this pain pattern is making people crazy. It's making people tormented. It's making people physically ill. It's giving people heart attacks. It's giving people psoriasis. And it's giving people um, fighting and yelling and screaming. It's giving people addictions and like checking out because pain is so difficult. And it's just a pattern. 
you know, it's a pattern that makes people go and shoot up people. It makes people say awful things to people, especially themselves. It makes people do awful things to people, including like children and horrible, horrible things that this pattern of pain drives because it's just the cellular level that pain is here to stay. And we need this pattern shift big time. We all need to make it because when you replace the pattern of pain with the pattern of purpose, then what you're doing is you're taking all the energy that is pain and you're putting a new shape to it. You're giving it a makeover. You're giving it a new tone and a new flavor and a new quality. And it's like taking a base base something like taking pasta and then putting whatever your awesome creation on is on it. So pet pain is one of our base emotional patterns. And the cool thing is, and this is why I love emotional training and, and doing these pattern shifts for everybody is that you can change the flavor of that emotion and you can reshape it and you can take all the power of that pain and suffering and you can use it and give it a purpose. And so, for example, you could take pain of somebody passing away, right? Which I've done before. And the, and the horrible, icky feeling of heartbreak, which is just part of that whole pain struggle and all the pain, all the stuff that goes with pain. And you could take that, you could feel that pain, but you can take it and give it a new flavor. And you can decide what is my purpose? I'm going to put purpose here. And over the top of that pain, you're like, okay, you just got a new makeover. You got an awesome new wardrobe and purpose is the replacement. So if I feel pain and I just say to myself, purpose, what is the purpose, right? What is my purpose? What is the purpose of this? What do I want to do with it? What is my purpose? All of a sudden, I just felt it. I just felt a shift in me. All of a sudden, I start to feel differently because purpose feels awesome. Purpose feels like alive. Purpose now has something it can do because pain is stagnant and keeps recycling. Purpose starts to elevate. Purpose starts to create inspiration. Purpose says, if somebody dies and that's the worst pain I ever feel, then I can make it, I can take that purpose to make it so that people live fully through emotional training rather than die from emotional pain, right? I can just take that and make that shift. So the moment I say purpose and I put that on top of the pain and I go, you just got a new uh, makeover and guess what? A new sheriff's in town and it is called purpose. Now the person starts to elevate. Now they're inspired. Now they start to say, well, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to make sure happens. And I want to make a bigger upgrade here, everyone, because a lot of times people will take pain and then try to make a purpose of it. But they'll say, like somebody will say, if I was abused uh, and I have clients who, who have had this situation where they say, well, now I want to make it so nobody abuses anybody. But now that purpose is about something not happening which also kind of still makes it kind of painful. So we want to put the purpose of what we want to happen, what the intention is. And this example would be that people treat them, treat each other with intentionality, with respect, with collaboration, with dignity, with integrity, and with inspiration for intentions, right? Now that gives that purpose that much more energy and it starts to take it forward starts to give us a direction of what to do, starts to give us the actions and the momentum for that purpose. And that is what I want for everybody to be able to have for the rest of their lives, right? Because purpose is elevating. Purpose is our highest level. Purpose is what we are all here to do. It's why we came into this world to create a bunch of intentions. It's why we are here to make a contribution which is why whatever our experience is, is meant to be channeled in to what our purpose is. And when we operate in purpose all the time and we're always saying, what's my purpose? What's my purpose? And we go purpose, purpose, purpose. And we are the purpose people. <laughs> we are the purpose people. Um, that purpose just keeps going. It makes more of itself than everything you're doing. 
everything has purpose in it. You're making dinner, you're ordering groceries, you're getting dressed, you're, you're taking care of yourself, you're helping somebody. That purpose just becomes a pattern of everything. And that's an awesome thing to be in purpose, to be in the momentum of purpose, to be in the force of nature that purpose is and how it carries us forward and elevates us in every interaction we have with ourselves and other people. And purpose is this amazing thing that everybody is yearning for and feels like it might be kind of elusive, but all you have to do is ask yourself, what's my purpose? Focus on that purpose, get the answers. And the purpose might be to make an awesome meal. The purpose might be to send a communication that facilitates something that you want to happen. The purpose may be to create an amazing transformation in another human being through any number of things. And in my life, it's through emotional training. So purpose, right? Purpose is our elevated state. It's our elevated existence. And purpose is the absolute momentum for life. It is the absolute thing that everybody desires and it is available every moment. So for the rest of our lives, whenever you feel anything other than that, whenever you feel, if you feel pain, we're going to go ahead and think of that makeover. We're going to go, Ooh, we're going to give you a makeover. And now pain has become purpose. And that equation goes through your whole life. Every time you experience anyone else in pain, you're going to go, Hey, what's your purpose? You know, here's this pain, but what's your purpose? And the person is going to have the answer to that. And that's going to be so helpful, so loving, so caring, and so elevating. And it's going to bring that person forward to, well, my purpose is to take care of my children. My purpose is to build a great company. My purpose is to bring smiles to everyone. And that is a really amazing emotional support and emotional leadership process that I invite everyone to do. And this is such an amazing pattern shift that I want you all to have even more of them because this one alone is worth millions, billions, trillions, and again, maybe even whatever the next level is, gazillions of dollars of happiness and success and functionality and reform for our society. And it is the atmosphere that we all want to live in. Imagine our whole culture in purpose whenever they're doing anything, driving, um, eating, drinking, talking, relating, um, anything at all that you can think of. Imagine everyone in purpose. And that is why I am so passionate about emotional training and what we do at my, at my company, Dr. Tracy Inc., which you can find at drtracyinc.com and learn how you can turn all of your pain into purpose and how that purpose will create the life that you want, how it will create a purposeful life for other people, how it will create everything that purpose is here to do and how you can live that life of purpose and what it is that you are really here to do with your life. And as someone that gets to live my purpose every day, I really invite all of you to it. Uh, and knowing that if you want to replace your pain with purpose, other people want that too. And I really invite you to send this pattern shift to other people, share it in your network. So everybody can do this pattern shift and have everywhere where they might've been in pain. Now there's purpose. Now we just elevated the whole atmosphere that we all live in. And this is what I'm really excited about for everyone. Okay, everyone, this is one pattern shift. There are thousands of pattern shifts available. So check us out so that you can get more of them. Also, each person has their own unique pattern shifts that they specifically need to do. And that you can figure out by coming onto a consultation with us that you can get by going to drtracyinc.com. That way we'll find out what your specific patterns are that you need to upgrade. We'll replace them and we'll help you understand how you can do more of that for the rest of your life. All right, so thanks for tuning in for this pattern shift. I'm so excited for everyone to make the upgrade and we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone, take care.